Childhood allergies may appear because of a genetic predisposition. If both parents have allergies, there is a 75% chance their child will too. But it takes some kind of environmental trigger to turn that predisposition into a certainty. And there is really no way to know what exactly can act as the trigger. However, if you want to help increase the chances that your child will not develop allergies, here are a few things to try. Bring a pet into the house. An 18-year study of 500 kids found that boys and girls who are raised around cats are half as likely to develop pet allergies as children who have not lived with the animals. As for exposing infants to dogs, boys had their risk of allergies slashed in half. But girls under the age of one who lived with dogs are at an increased risk of developing a pet allergy. More controversial is the idea of allergen introduction. Some doctors advocate eating highly allergic foods such as nuts, seeds, and soy throughout a pregnancy to help build tolerance in the fetus. But other doctors warn that eating an allergen-packed diet may do the opposite, resulting in allergies after birth. Another theory is that breastfeeding a newborn for at least four months may strengthen the infant's immune system and make a child more allergy resistant. But recently, research has indicated that the protective power of nursing, at least in terms of allergy prevention, may be exaggerated. Keep in mind that while your toddler may not exhibit allergies, a child can develop allergies at any time. If they do, take your child to an allergist for treatments to ease the symptoms and to protect the child from developing more severe reactions, such as allergic asthma or even anaphylaxis. To find out about the most common allergies, check out other videos in this series.